It's time for the Douglas Coleman Show. Mr. Smooth and Savvy is joined by guests from all walks of life. From the entertainment industry to authors to political and social commentators. The famous and not so famous. The controversial and the light and fluffy. We have it all. Now, here is Douglas Coleman. Well, 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 well. Hello there. Hello there. Welcome to the Douglas Coleman Show. It's me, Douglas Coleman. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are and what time of the day or night it is when you're listening to this show. Matt Weston is here today. Matt is a country singer from the Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania area, uh, who has now dedicated his life (laughs) <laughs> to the pursuit of a music career, and we wish Matt all the best of luck. We've got an interview with him as well as four of his tracks to play. Matt came to us through Michael Stover, who I've mentioned on this show many times. We have featured many of Michael's musical artists on this show, and it's always a pleasure to meet new ones that he acquires and to get them on the show. The music's always really good. Thank you, Michael. Happy New Year to you and your family. Before we get to Matt Weston, we've got some tracks to play. Uh, I've got two new ones and three old favorites. The two new ones are from Music X-Ray Submissions. Thank you very much to people who have been submitting through Music X-Ray. We get a lot of music through Music X-Ray. Really appreciate it. First one is called Today Not Fade Away by the Jewel Thieves. It's an interesting song. I like the way it's arranged. It kind of goes from one thing to another to another, and it just, uh, something very interesting about the song. I like the arrangement. Followed by My Sweet Valentine by Gladys 911. Uh, We've had other tracks of Gladys 911s on the show before, and happy to play a new one. And the next three are tracks that we've played before as well. Ride by House of Amber, The Never-Ending Pageant by Colin Klein, and Long Road by Greg White Jr. So we will be playing those tracks first, then a short commercial break, and then the interview with Matt Weston.
I can do this anymore Well, I've always had these dreams that are bigger than me A much bigger picture than I can't even see Like Edison before electricity Can I get there? Mm -hmm. Desire doesn't explain when I work so hard spinning my wheels And sometimes the doubt comes creeping Can I get there? Mm -hmm. But it's a to Mr. Smooth and Savvy right here on the Douglas Coleman Show. We'll be right back after these commercial messages. Go listen, download, and subscribe to The Douglas Coleman Show. It's available at the website douglascolemanmusic.com slash DCS. Also on iTunes, Spreaker, and YouTube. The Douglas Coleman Show is an internationally syndicated talk and music show that features fascinating and sometimes famous guests from all aspects of the entertainment industry. The topics can range from light and fluffy to sober and serious. Our focus is on music artists, but we also feature producers, authors, directors, and even promoters. The Douglas Coleman Show. Sometimes chat, sometimes music, 
always entertaining. Again, it's available today at the website douglascolemanmusic.com slash DCS. You can also connect with them on Facebook at Douglas Coleman Show 1. Follow on Twitter at Douglas Coleman 3. And you can even find them on TuneIn Radio. Again, that's the Douglas Coleman Show at the website douglascolemanmusic.com slash DCS, iTunes, Spreaker, YouTube, and more. Go listen, download, subscribe, and share with your social networks today. Tired of living in a culture of lies, fake news, and alternative facts? The Pro-Truth Pledge reverses the tide of lies by calling on politicians, and everyone else, to commit to truth-oriented behaviors. The Pledge asks signees to commit to 12 behaviors that research in behavioral science shows lead to truthfulness, such as clarifying one's opinions and the facts, citing one's sources, and celebrating people who update their beliefs toward the truth. Private citizens who sign the pledge get the benefit of contributing to a more truth-oriented society. Public figures get more substantive rewards for signing the pledge in the form of positive media and public recognition. The pledge crowdsources the truth by asking volunteers to evaluate the statements of public figures who sign the pledge. Take the pledge, demand that your elected representatives do so, and encourage your friends to take it at protruthpledge.org. After the loss of my dog Mandy, I had difficulty sleeping. She had been my best friend for years. She slept on the end of my bed and I found her snoring soothing. It was difficult for me as I also found little support for my grief. Not being able to sleep was the worst. I decided to create an audio book to help people like me. Listen to my voice as you drift into a peaceful sleep, taking a journey using your dog's memories, accompanied by rain falling, birds singing, and a waterfall. To get your download, go to Amazon and search Relax by Jane Yates. Thanks to Douglas Coleman for this spot. Hi there, this is Stuart Epps from the UK, record producer, engineer. Uh, you might have heard of me. I've worked with artists from Elton John to Led Zeppelin to uh, Bad Company, Twisted Sister, Robbie Williams, Oasis, many, many great bands and artists in the past and the present and uh, hopefully in the future. But uh, you can work with me as well. You know, all you got to do is get in touch with me on epsmusicproductions.com. That's uh, E-double-P-S productionsmusic.com. Uh, and I can help you with your productions and with your recordings. Uh, a lot of people do home recordings now, which you can only take so far. Maybe they need a bit of professional help. So uh, get in touch with me and we can sort it out. And thanks for Douglas Coleman for giving me the spot. Thanks a lot. Cheers, bye. DJC Music and DJC Productions are pleased to announce a brand new website. We have started a listing website for radio show hosts as well as potential show guests. This is a meeting site where hosts and guests can come together. Show hosts can list their show and types of guests they're interested in booking. Potential guests can list their talents, bio, accomplishments or anything they feel makes them an interesting radio show guest. There are no recurrent payments, only a one-time $5 listing fee. Your listing will stay up until you decide to cancel. Previous guests of The Douglas Coleman Show are welcome to submit their guest listing free of charge. Go to radiohostsandguests.com. That's radiohostsandguests.com. And now... Hey, Rocky, watch me pull a rabbit out of my hat. Again? Nothing up my sleeve. Presto! <laughs> Ooh, don't know my own strength. Now here's something we hope you'll really like. Hi, Happy New Year. This is Matt Weston. You're listening to The Douglas Coleman Show. And I hope you enjoy my song, You Leave Me No Choice. I'm home, 
Tell me, did you miss me much? Cause that old road gets long Ten cities without your touch I'm sleeping on my feet I just need a little unwinding Been dreaming about those sheets But the way you look tonight You leave me no choice Let me lay you down right where you stand Say help all night long Honey, I can't wait to get you in my hands Cause you're not wearing that dress on accident With looking back, good comes to consequence I don't hear a way around it in your bones Girl, you leave me no choice Ain't no kiss goodnight It's a devil fight rodeo We're riding now Stealing me with your lips Bringing me back to life I'm as helpless as it gets But the way you look tonight You leave me no choice Then to lay you down right where you stand Say help all night long Okay, please welcome my guest, Matt Weston. Hi, Matt. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, starting off 2018 pretty good. And uh, how are you doing, man? Happy New Year. Uh, Happy New Year to you. I'm doing just fine. Did you make any resolutions? No, I just try to keep doing the best I can do. You know, I gave up on resolutions years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I hear yeah. you. I could never keep them. You know, if it was to lose weight or, you know, whatever, I just could never do it. I'd end up giving up. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. End up forgetting about it, actually. <laughs> well, your story's kind of interesting. I uh, got your bio and your profile and stuff from uh, Michael Stover, who uh, we've mm-hmm. had quite a few of his artists on. Always happy to uh, have Michael's ga- Michael's artist on the show as a guest. So yeah. just tell us a little bit about yourself. Give us your background. We've got a bunch of your songs. I'd like to get two of them on the show and then maybe we'll play one uh as the uh, outro and maybe we'll throw one in as an intro so we could probably do four yes. all together but we'll do two during the interview so if you could just right, yeah, yeah just tell us a little bit about your background and then uh we'll talk about your music okay well uh yeah i'm from pittsburgh pennsylvania born and raised here i uh, took a pretty interesting path to get where i'm at right now I started out as an engineer, did that for quite a while, and was miserable. So when I lost my job, I decided not to go back. And I pursued acting after that. I actually lived in Los Angeles for a while. 
um, pursuing that. And then I moved back to Pittsburgh when my father passed away. And that was really a new beginning for me. It was, it was just so devastating. And uh, I was so down and depressed and just in a bad place that I needed to rebuild from scratch. And I've always loved music. My dad had always uh, pushed me to pursue it because he, he, he loved when I would sing, played instruments since I was a kid. And when he passed away, something just clicked inside of me. And it, it was almost a spiritual uh, realization. You know, it just felt like it was the right thing to do. And I started to pursue one of my lifelong passions, finally, after my father had passed away, unfortunately. And here we are now with my album coming out. And I, I couldn't be more proud, and I'm sure he's way up there in heaven. Uh, you said you were studying acting, or you were pursuing acting in L.A. Tell us a little bit about that. What kind yeah. of stuff were you doing? Well, I actually had an independent film company based here in Pittsburgh for a few years while I was still an engineer. So I was always interested and involved in the acting. But uh, I did some I did some short films here. I did some a couple horror films here with my company and with some other ones. And then my agent, which was based in Los Angeles, uh, wanted me to move out there. Uh, that's where they operate. That's where most of the auditions are. So I moved out there for about a year. And unfortunately, that was about the exact time when my father got sick. So I was back and forth a lot. Never really got settled in out there in Los Angeles. But I did get a sense that Los Angeles really wasn't for me. Um, I'm just from, you know, I'm from a blue collar family in a suburb of the Steel City, Pittsburgh. So I was definitely a fish out of water there. <laughs> and when I came, yeah, to say the least, it's a different culture. You know, it's it's beautiful over there and it's a great place to visit. I'm just not sure I'd want to live there. It's um, no offense to them. It's just uh, I'm used to different things, you know. And uh, I could use that weather right about now. It's about one degree outside right now here in Pittsburgh. Uh, yeah, but, the um, East Coast yeah. is getting hammered. <laughs> yeah, I moved back to Pittsburgh, and I feel like right now I'm finally where I'm supposed to be and doing what I'm supposed to be doing. So we'll see where it takes me. Okay, so you said you were an engineer, and then so it really was your father's death that sort of inspired you to, to pursue music? Was that kind of what did it? To pursue it as... My career, yes. Yes, oh, okay. that, that was the, the final, the catalyst that, that pushed me over the edge. I was just, I was lost for, for a while. And like I said, it was almost spiritual coming to that decision. I, I can't point to a day where I sat down and thought about it and figured out what I was going to do. It just felt right in my gut and in my heart. And unfortunately, it's crazy how life works. You know, he he passed away and had always pushed me to do this and I don't do it until after he's gone. I regret that, but life is crazy like that sometimes, you know? Well, it's interesting because perhaps if he hadn't passed away, you wouldn't have pursued it. Yeah, I know that's, it's, it's twisted, but that's, I think that's absolutely true. You know, you don't know what is going to sort of drive you to do something. Uh, sometimes it takes some kind of, uh, you know, a major thing like that to just sort of yeah. kick you in the head to get going, you know? Yeah, I think I think uh, the shell that I had been living in for so long fell apart and fell off, and I had to remake myself, basically. Because it was, it was, I took a, I took it very, very hard. It was a difficult thing to get through, and I'm a different person now. Can I ask how old your father was? He was 64. 64, oh, that's pretty young. Yeah, yeah, that is yeah he was with my mom. For forty, married forty three years, and together forty six, I think. Wow! And so now she's she's left on her own. So that was another reason why I moved back to Pittsburgh, so I could be closer with her. Okay, well that's great. Let's get to one of your songs, and then I want to talk about the music okay. and the industry. Uh, which one All do right. you want to play first? We've got, uh, I think we got your whole album here. Two of these are untitled. It says untitled one and untitled two. So I don't know what. <laughs> Wonder those which are. ones those are. But we've got uh, we've got all of the other ones. So give us a title okay. and we'll play that. Okay. Why don't we just start with my first uh, single that's uh, that's just coming out now? The uh, Our Redneck of the Woods. 
Redneck of the Woods. Okay, that's a nice title. Uh, any story behind that song? Uh, well, it's just a song that uh, I think really embodies everything that I love about country music. The you know it celebrates um, God and country and family and hard work and pride in where you come from and standing up for your beliefs, things like that. It has a nice outlaw country vibe, a little bit edgier. And it's one of the rockers on my album. I think it's a really fun song, a choice for the first single. It really represents a lot of who I am. So I love this song. It's definitely a special one. Okay. Well, this is Redneck of the Woods by Matt Weston. State flower is a satellite dish. If we ain't hunting, we're cleaning fish. That shotgun hanging in the back of my truck. Son, it ain't in that ride for looks. It's gotten kin red, white, and blue. Um, Thank you. The the line between country music and classic rock has really gotten 
undefined now. Mm-hmm. I'd say so. Yeah, it seemed when I was growing up, I mean, that would have been a classic rock song. And well, it wasn't mm-hmm. classic back then; it was just a rock song. <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> You know, but now that kind of music is sort of crossover to new country kind of, it's, it's getting, the line's getting very blurry. But mm-hmm. yeah, nice song. Because I've heard Aerosmith songs that sound like that. And Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, well, he actually went country recently, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. So, that oh, was a great song. Very nice. Uh, your voice Thank is you. nice, Thank too. Thank you. Yeah, that's... Um, I was going to oh, say, I though, that, that it was a little bit unusual because... With it being a kind of a real rock and roll sort of song, you sing in a baritone voice, which is unusual because most of the rockers really scream at the the top of their range in tenor uh, usually. There aren't a lot of baritones, yeah. uh, you know, rock and roll baritones. But yeah, it was good. It was nice. Yeah, well, I think that that I think the the deeper voice adds to the uh, the country aspect of that song. Um, I wanted it to be a little bit, you know, tougher, edgier, uh, add some of those heavier guitars. Um, but I also wanted to have that, uh, kind of outlaw feel, you know, the right. don't mess with this guy kind of thing, you yeah. know, <laughs> with that, that kind of an attitude. Well, with that attitude, you would need the deeper voice. You, you probably wouldn't convey the attitude if you had a voice like, uh, right. I don't know, Brian Johnson of like ACDC <laughs> or Steven Tyler. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. You know, something like that. But All right. So you're doing this full time. You're doing this as for a living now. Yeah. Well, that's the uh, that's the plan. Uh, the album, uh, the, actually, the single is out. That song is released, uh, I think, as of the third. It should be available in all the uh, online stores and iTunes, Pandora, Spotify, all that it should be available right now. For download uh the the rest of the album the full album will be out later this month and i don't have the exact date yet but look for it like the end of the month okay we're working on this it's a it's a process this is my debut album so we'll see where it takes me you know just put all my heart and soul into it and a lot of hard work and a lot of other people uh, put their heart and soul into it so it means a lot and we'll see where it takes me what is the album called uh it's called legacy legacy okay um, you could probably you could probably guess you know that's related to the reason behind the album you know with my father and I I thought it was just fitting you know yeah it's a good I'm going to leave this behind for, for for my for my legacy you know this is part of my legacy right. as I'm a part of my father's so it just it made sense okay so you put the album out then do you plan on going on tour yeah that's uh, that's in the works right now I don't have the tour date set up but uh, that's definitely in the works. Okay, that will be probably posted on my uh, website, mattweston.com, uh, very soon. I, I'm not exactly sure of the date yet. That's uh, it's all in the works. Okay, well, it just seems like that's how people are making a, a living these days in music because mm-hmm. record sales aren't quite what they used to be. Sure, yeah, f- especially physical records. Yeah. You know, everything's streaming or download nowadays. Which pays the artist a lot less than a record used to. Right, right. Yeah, it's a different world, but um, you just you know have to. It is what it is. You know, take it as it comes, and we'll see what happens. So you write all your own music. I'm gonna work work my butt off. <laughs> no, I, I um the uh, the songs on this album were chosen um, specifically by me uh, out of a list of probably about fifty different songs, and uh, because when my father had passed away, and I between then and when. I decided to record the album it was a very short period of time. And if I would have sat down and wrote everything, it would have probably not been finished till next year. So my producer, Brian Cole went and uh, contacted some people that he knew and they sent me some fantastic material. And I handpicked the ones that meant the most to me and that, that I thought would fit together on the album. And uh, we just made them our own. And they're all original tracks from professional writers in Nashville. Um, my second album, which I'll begin thinking about very soon, is going to be at least half half written by me. Okay, so what is your process when you write? Do you uh, have a guitar or piano, or do you do the lyrics and the music at the same time, or does one and the other one come first? Um, it's more like lyrics first, 
um, with somewhat of, of a melody in my head. But to me, it's all about the lyrics. I grew up like writing poetry and things like that. And that's kind of how it carried over into writing songs. Uh, that, that's usually how I do it. I'll sit there, whatever my inspiration is for a particular song, I'll try to let the lyrics flow naturally. Um, sometimes I just get in the groove and it flows, you know. Um, but the melodies usually come after. To me, the, the lyrics is, is the most important part. That's the heart and soul of the song to me. Do you uh, write on a guitar or piano? or? Um, yeah, I mean, sometimes I mess around with a guitar. Um, when I'm with, uh, you know, whoever else is going is to be recording with me, uh, you know, we just work on it together. Uh, but I have a basic melody uh, that, that plays in my head that fits the, fits the lyrics. Uh, I don't play, uh, I didn't play the instruments on, on my album. I had uh, some fantastic musicians play for me, including uh, Mike Brignardello, who uh, he plays for, he's all the top 40 guys, he's a bass player, and Steve Hinson, he's a, a steel guitar player, pedal steel guy, he plays for like Dolly Parton, and you name it. These, oh, these guys man. are fantastic. So I yeah. sat down with my producer, and, and, we, and we, we try different things, we experiment. Okay. Let's get to another song. Let's play another one. Which one do you want to play next? All right. Well, actually, you know what? I'm in the studio right now with Brian and a guy named Adam Ernst. He played a lot of songs. Well, he played the drums and uh, a lot of the guitars on my album, and he actually wrote one of the songs. So why don't we do that one? He wrote Good Time. That's a good song. It's, uh, it's fun. Good Time. Okay. This is Good Time by Matt Weston. <laughs> said, oh no, when I saw you walking through that door Cause I saw a look right there that i never seen before Whatever I did this time must have been pretty bad Cause when I said we're done, well she said I'm glad Then she put a key mark right down the side of my truck Put a dent right in the door there has to be a law somewhere That's abuse on a four by four That Chevrolet never did nothing to you Why don't you take it out on me? On second thought I'm gone To a place where I can be Living it up with the neon lights And the music turned up loud A cover band cranking out a country tune With a getting loud rowdy crowd All I need Butters in a beer and I'll be feeling fine Cause there ain't no us in together But there's a me in good time All right I said one more As I'm throwing them back at the bar Right now I know she's over there throwing all my stuff in the yard It's alright, hey, it's okay, you'll never get nowhere like that And when she comes running back, I'm gonna say with all due respect, honey, you can kiss my ass Living it up with the neon lights and the music turned up loud A cover band cranking out a country tune with a getting loud rowdy crowd Good time. 
time I know there ain't no us in together But there's me Me and good time Ah, oh, very nice. I like all the background crowd noises and yelling and <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's like you're in a bar, you know. Yeah, exactly. It really paints the picture for you. <laughs> it does it does indeed. All right, Matt, we gotta kinda yeah, wrap this up one. a little bit. Um the okay. album is called Legacy and you said it is out now, it's available. Yeah, or coming soon. The uh the yeah, the uh probably the end of January it'll be out. I don't have the exact date yet. But my first single, Our Redneck of the Woods, is available right now. Okay, the single's out. All right. So, okay, great. The single is released, yeah. Okay. And uh, what song do you want to play to go out? Hmm. Well, today's Friday. Well, hmm. the show won't air until Monday. so. <laughs> well, that's perfect, because I was going to say, why don't, why don't we do too many Mondays? Oh, there we go. All that right. sounds fitting. Yeah, that is perfect. <laughs> All right, Matt, thanks a lot for coming on. Uh, I appreciate it. Best of luck yeah, with your music it. career. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And this is Too Many Mondays by Matt Weston. When that Monday morning clock goes dang a lang a lang, I just cover up my head. Let that sucker ring Take two cups of coffee Just to get me out the door Well, I can't find my keys And my gas tank is dry Running 90 miles an hour Trying to be on time Love to quit this job And party a whole lot more For sure Cause it's too many Mondays Not enough Some whiskey, boys. <laughs> <laughs> 